Hello everybody, this is Jack Pierce with Let's Draw People, and in this video we're going to see how to sketch a woman thinking about something. She looks like she has a pleasant thought on her mind. This is just meant to be a basic line and tone sketch. The materials I used when I sketched this include drawing paper, a regular pink eraser, a kneaded eraser for picking out highlights, and a 2B graphite pencil. So I prefer graphite pencils for drawing, for drawings and sketches, as opposed to a standard number two pencil. These graphite pencils just allow for a lot more variations in tones and shading. And they typically come in a set like this, with a range of hardness or softness. But like I said, I used a 2B for this one. So as you watch this, I just encourage you to watch the whole video once, all the way through as I walk you through the steps. After you watch the video one time, watch it again and at that time sketch along and go through the steps with me, pausing the video as you need to get your sketch the way you want it on your paper. And with that said, let's get started. So we'll begin by sketching a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, as perfect as you can make it with a sketch. And we're going to put this circle on an axis that's tilted, since the woman that we're drawing has her head tilted slightly in thought. And next we'll sketch some lines from each side of the circle to form an oval shape. We're going from the middle of the circle to find the, the middle point of our oval. And we're sketching lines downward from the sides of the circle. This is just a, a little uh, trick to help you better form an oval shape for a head if you have trouble with that. And next we're going to draw some guidelines to help us place the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Starting with the eyes, we have a guideline that's halfway between the top of the head and the bottom of the chin that we'll place for the eyes. And for the nose, we have a guideline that is halfway between where the eye guideline is and the bottom of the chin. And for the mouth, we have a guideline that is one third of the way down from the nose guideline. And now we have some guideline, some little marks placed for the corners of the eyes. And we have the nose falling in between those guidelines for the inner corners of the eyes. And lastly, we'll draw some guidelines for the corners of the mouth. And each corner of the mouth falls uh, between the eyes, between the center part of the eyes. All right, now we'll draw the outline of the eyes. And uh, they're basically just almond shapes with some variations on the inside corners. And now we'll draw, start drawing an iris and pupil for each eye. And we want the, uh, the eyes to look upward since we're drawing a woman who's deep in thought. She's thinking about something. And so she's looking up towards the sky in thought. Also, whenever we, uh, 
whenever I draw a pupil, I like to put a little circle overlapping the iris and the pupil as a highlight. Okay, next we'll add eyebrows, eyelids, and eyelashes. I'm going to start with uh, some little marks for to indicate eyelids, and next we'll add the eyebrows. You can use this guideline that we use to make the circle to help you with the to help you line up the eyebrows. And we're going to add a little bit of shading here, just to add some extra detail. We'll go back and add some more shading in much more detail later on, but this is just to get us started. I like to put really dark tones for the, for the pupils and the irises make them really stand out and I'll go back later on and put more with that. Alright, now for the nose, we'll sketch some basic shapes to show the the bridge, the ball, and the wings of the nose that house the nostrils. So I'm putting just some basic oval shapes here. And then we'll just trace over trace over those the outline of those shapes to help us better form the nose. So really all I'm doing is drawing lines that curve around those circles that I formed. I formed a circle for the ball of the nose and two smaller circles underneath the ball for the wings and the nostrils. Now I'm forming the lines around that, that middle circle that I drew for the nose just to form the cartilage. letting the cartilage form the, the, the nostrils. I'm not just drawing dark circles for the nostrils. Letting the guidelines guide me. We'll add a little bit of shading. Add some tones to make it look more like a nose. And her right side is a little bit darker since the light is coming from her left. So we'll keep that in mind as we shade. And now we'll uh, start on the mouth. Just begin with a line for the lower part of the upper lip. We want to use uh, some tiny lines on the, on, the, on the ends, on the corners, just to represent a, a subtle smile. And then we'll finish the top lip and the bottom lip. Her mouth is slightly open here. And we'll make the bottom lip a little bit thicker than the top lip. Right. We'll add in uh, some vertical lines for the teeth. A few lines and shades for detail. A little more uh, darker on the corners of the lips. All right, now we're going to start uh, sketching the outline of the face. That oval that we drew to begin with is just a frame of reference, but we don't have to stay directly on the oval. Here you see I'm sketching a little a little bit inside the oval. Coming around the chin. And now I'm going to start adding just a few extra 
uh, tones, some shades around the facial features to bring them out a little bit more. Bring out some of the characteristics of around the mouth. And a little bit more with the eyes around the cheekbones. And I'm drawing a, uh, we're going to start with the neck now actually. Uh, drawing the neck and shoulders. I'm going to draw the neck longer on the left side than the right since the woman's head is tilted, tilting away from her left shoulder. So let's sketch the outline of the hair now. Just want to get a basic form down, a basic shape. We're not going to fill it just yet. We just want to get an idea of how the hair is flowing. We have it here on her right side hanging down since her head is tilted in that direction. So we want it hanging straight down. And now we're going to use some loose lines to indicate strands of hair. We want to sketch in the direction of the hair growth. Just let the pencil marks flow along with the hair. We'll just keep doing this. We'll keep uh, going over and over them again to build up some layers and add tones to develop the volume of the hair. And drawing hair is just one of those things you have to kind of ha have some patience with and just keep adding and keep drawing over and over, making the layers one on top of the other. Okay, let's start cleaning this up a little bit. We're going to clean up our sketch by erasing some of the unwanted guidelines. And we don't need to be too concerned about getting all of the guidelines out. This is just a sketch. So sometimes a few guidelines left in the sketch will add to the add to the drawing to make it to make it look good. Alright, so we're going to from this point on, really, just uh, we have our basic line drawing finished for our sketch. We're just going to go and add in some additional shading. And then around the features, we want to make our features stand out. So I'm just starting by adding a few extra details too. Anything that I see that I want to to address and make stand out a little bit more, I'm adding that in now around the eyes, around the nose. And I'm speeding up the video now just to save some time. But you can see the uh, shading that I'm adding around the features to bring them out a little bit. You can note the shadow underneath the nose to indicate... Um, the light coming from the opposite direction. We want to put a few, some darker tones in the mouth to bring that out a little bit more. Around the eyes, bring up the, the top of the bridge of the nose a little bit and putting lots of shading underneath her chin and on the neck area to cast that shadow. Once again, going, coming back, back up to the hair, we want to just keep uh, adding in layers and layers of lines and tones and shading and highlights, leaving out some, leaving some spaces open for highlights. And this is just this is just a sketch, and this is just uh, to help you practice. So don't worry too much about any, everything being perfect. But the more you do it, the better you'll become at it and the more you'll learn. OK, 
Okay, we're going to add some finishing, uh, some finishing uh, details to our hair and and face, and we're ready to sign our sign our picture. And there you have it. This is one way to sketch a woman with something on her mind. Now that you have watched me make the sketch, and after you have done it along with me, then try to give it a go on your own. Just try it without the video. It doesn't even have to be the same woman. Just use some of the techniques you learned and see where it takes you. If you find this video helpful, please like it, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.